Hey, good Monday morning. The sun is out. The humidity is up. The birds are singing. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a hot one. So make sure you stay hydrated. Today, I want to talk to you about keeping the faith, keeping the faith. And, you know, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because uh, on my memory today on uh, Facebook, uh, I was talking about getting ready to go for my MRI. Yeah, I was diagnosed with a solid mass the size of a tennis ball in my upper left thigh and what you have to understand about me is I grew up with adversity I mean the very first thing that I learned in life is that life isn't fair that people don't give you what you want you got to earn it I mean my father died when I was six years old so immediately as a six-year-old boy you learn that life is hard, that you lose people that you love, that it's not always going to be fuzzy and warm and beautiful. I mean, those beautiful moments happen. But at six years old, I learned that life isn't always a rainbow. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of storms. And in order to get through those storms, to see that rainbow, you can either fight those fights alone or you can walk with God. And I learned a long time ago to walk with God. And that's what I've, I've done. Every battle that I've faced, every adverse situation that was in, in front of me, I, I walk with God. And the story that I shared with you yesterday from the amphitheater is... You know, this father, this father knew that his daughter was very sick, may not make it. And, you know, he is a he is a leader, a ruler in the synagogue, the local synagogue. But he knows about Jesus. He hears about Jesus. And what does he do? He runs to the Sea of Galilee. He meets Jesus as the boat crosses from the other side. And he falls on his face. He humbles himself. He prays. Uh, he worships. This is what worship looks like. Yeah, he humbles himself. And and what does he do? He says to Jesus that if you would just come to my house, lay your hands on my daughter. Not only did he say that she would live, but she would be made well. She would be made whole. And so this father speaks out of faith. He's facing adversity. He knows life isn't fair. He knows life is difficult. But yet he doesn't give in to what is in front of him. Because he sees beyond it. He sees the faith. He knows that Jesus healed the sick. He knows that Jesus made the blind see. He, he knows that Jesus fed those who were hungry. He knows that Jesus reached out his hand to the lepers. And so what does he do? He goes to Jesus. He knows that maybe doctors and medicine can't do anything. But he's given it to Christ through faith. And, you know, when they're on the way to the house, some messengers come and they're like, hey, Jarius, your daughter's dead. Leave the teacher alone. And, you know, Jarius, I don't know what he was feeling because Mark doesn't tell us that. I can't imagine as a father to hear those words, your daughter's dead. Leave the teacher alone. But you know what? When you're standing there with the teacher, when you're standing there with the one who can heal the sick, you listen to his words, not the words that came from the people at your house. Because Jesus says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just believe. That's from Mark chapter 5, verse 36. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Because Jesus understands when adversity comes, when bad things happen. We do. We, we become afraid. We worry. We give in. We doubt. But Jesus says, don't be afraid. Just believe. In other words, hold on to that faith that you had when you encountered Jesus. And what was that faith? He said, hey, if you come lay your hands on my daughter, she will live. Not only live, but she'll be made whole. And I think that's what we need to hear today is that whatever we're facing in life, listen to what Jesus said to Jairus. Don't be afraid. Just believe. 
And if your belief isn't in Christ, if your belief isn't in God, then whatever you're facing in life is going to be difficult. Because without Christ, there's no hope. Jarius knew that. He had all the faith in the world. He was a synagogue leader. He was a teacher of the law. He knew the scriptures better than anybody else. But when he needed help, it wasn't the scriptures that he leaned upon. He went to Jesus. And we know at the end of the story, his daughter lives. Why? Because Jesus said to him, don't be afraid, just believe. And that's a word we need today in 2021. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Whatever you're facing today, folks, give it to God. Jarius did, and because of that, miracles happen. Hey, this is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone. God bless.